for both of you guys, tell me when you saw that snap fly backwards, what what goes through your head when you see something like that? Because it wasn't looking good uh, prior to that, looking pretty bad, and then suddenly it turns the other way. What what went through your minds and what emotions uh, did you experience in that moment? Man, God is good. That's all I had to say, really. Um, I mean, I don't know what happened with their communication or anything, but man, defense was playing hard. And next thing you know, the snap goes and just get the ball down. I saw that 14 tried to pick it up and start running, but man, we just had to get them down. God is good now. I, mean, I, I had complete trust in our guys to get the job done. And they, they did it all night. But I mean, as soon as that happened, I mean, I, I had a towel in my hand. I was just chewing on it, like in excitement, like I, but still trying to stay in the moment. But uh, it, that, that, was, that was crazy. It, it definitely was crazy. Ryland defense tonight, incredible. Eight sacks, I mean, you a couple interceptions. Talk about the way just the whole unit was feeding off each other tonight. Man, we really came together tonight, man. It was amazing. I mean, all summer, all fall camp, I mean, this is the moment we were waiting for. Um, I mean, we were on the field a little, kind of a lot, and I mean, you could just tell we were playing together. Our communication was on point, everything. People were just feeding off each other, feeding off the energy. One play, maybe it was a bad play. I mean, we just came back for the next play. It was amazing. I mean, and can you talk about your performance? You seem to be uh, several tackles for a loss, interception. Uh, you just seem to be around the ball all night, just the way you were anticipating. Can you talk about the way you played tonight? Man, I mean, it was really just all the hard work from the training staff helping me, the weightlifting um, staff helping me. I mean, all this work all summer, all fall camp, it really just came together tonight. And I just was able to put in positions to show my ability, and it was awesome. I mean, coach called a great game, called some great plays. It was really awesome. Both of you guys can speak to this. I know that the past 10 days have been really hard um, for this university and for the football team, just in light of you know what happened. What has it been like emotionally for you guys? And, and you know how has football, you know, kind of being able to focus on playing in this game, kind of helped you guys navigate you know these challenges? Yeah, I mean it. It's, it was definitely tough, and I like the word navigate that you use because there's no getting through it. You know, like, we just got to figure it out, navigate through it. And I, I feel like we just lean on our brothers, you know. And not to say it's a, a good thing that it happened, but, I mean, it's brought us all closer together. And as, as it should, you know, if, if, if that doesn't happen, or we, we don't get the result that we had tonight. And uh, back to what you said, like, playing football, yeah, it's been really good for Because, I mean, we've grown up, this is all that we've done, you know. And, it feels good to get out there and be with your brothers, the guys that you love and can lean on and get together. And that's, that's the only way to navigate through it. Man, I know there's just purpose in all the struggles. I mean, this was definitely one of the toughest things I've ever been through. And man, it was tough just hearing that news. I mean, where do we go next? And really just having the whole entire team, not just the defense, not just the offense. We came together, the whole university came together. Just being a part of that was amazing. I mean. Obviously, I would never, never, ever would want that to happen. It was it's extremely hard, like I said, but there is purpose in our struggle. And it was just amazing how we came together. And I mean, I really think that show tonight. And I mean, we just have something amazing coming on here. And I just think our program just took it well. We took it better than expected, really. I mean, it was awesome just having everyone to lean on. Gavin, uh, what do you feel like you learned in your first start as ISU quarterback offense came and went? but what 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 did what did you derive from tonight uh, that you can uh, apply going forward? Um, absolutely, uh, I learned a lot of things. Uh, we stress the ball. I mean, you got to take care of the ball. You got to do that better. Um, but overall, I felt very comfortable uh, being back there. Uh, but it, it was just good to get experience in this league. Get, good to be back out there in pads. Uh, definitely felt good to. Like I said, just be back out there. Uh, there's there's a lot to take away for me, and like I said, I, the biggest focus for me this week would be taking care of the ball, and uh, just after they they pick us up, just rallying back and uh, going down the field and putting points on the board. We got to score more, and uh, to compete in this league, we have to score more. There were two times we were down in between the five, and if you count overtime, there's three times and. We just shoot ourselves in the foot. We got to pick up, pick that up. No, we got to punch that in. We got to finish.
Two, two questions here real fast for you, Gavin. You were talking about the turnovers. You, you struggled the first three quarters, but you need a touchdown in the fourth quarter. You throw it, you get a two-point conversion. Quarterback's supposed to have that short-term memory. You played for, obviously, in junior college and played for a while. Just, just talk about your mindset and how you, you forgot about those first three quarters and bounced back in that final quarter. Absolutely. All Coach Bath and Coach Mallory, all, all they talk about is hands on the plow, next play. And uh, that's, that's just what we have to do. And the, Mistakes are going to happen. Adversity is going to happen. But how are we going to respond to that? And that, that's what they preach every single day, and that's what they preach to us all this week, is respond, respond. How are you going to respond? Next play, put your hands on the plow and keep your eyes for it. And that's just, that's just what we did as an offense. And then you talked about how tough the last 10 days have been. You obviously wanted the win. How much did you want the win extra for, for your teammates that, you're, uh, that had fallen tonight? That, that put the icing on the cake, you know. I mean, it just it, it was just a very emotional night, you know. I mean, just going into the locker room and, I mean, we know what we did it for. And uh, it was just a beautiful night all around. I mean, it, it wasn't how we wanted it to be on offense, but as a team, a win's a win. And uh, it was just great to do it in their honor, you know. And for me, I mean, Amario, I mean, I texted him this morning. I just told him I was thinking about him. I wish more than anything that all those guys were on the field with us tonight. I mean, it's just a missing piece to us. And I mean, just coming from that and coming together as a team and knowing that they're with us. They're not away from us. They're truly still with us as Sycamores. Mm -hmm. They're always going to be Sycamores. I mean, it just this win was a big thing for our, everyone. Just we could have just folded over. But that's not what they would have wanted us to do. They would have wanted us to play even harder, to keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's what we did tonight. It was awesome. Yeah. Real quickly for both of you guys, given the way that the play that turned the game in overtime, very unusual, um, do you feel like there's, it's, there's a little bit of appropriateness to that, given that you were playing for your teammates, a little bit of divine intervention there, so to speak, uh, to cause a play like that? Does that feel right? coming off the field that something, I mean, you want to earn it, but does it feel right that something like that happened to kind of get you guys over the top? I mean, yeah, uh, I, I mean, like Gavin said, I mean, I had faith that we would got to stop anyway, but even today, I mean, just something funny. Coach Mal was talking about at the Memorial on Monday, how um, when Caleb and Bash won uh, practice in the summer, they called Coach Mal and like, hey, we're stopped by a train, like, we're about to be late. And Coach Mal was getting on him, like, you got to, um, like prepare for this. Like you can't. You got to leave a couple extra minutes early. You know, Terre Haute got a bunch of trains, and um, and then, sure enough, um, Coach Mal, after the past, um, he gets stopped by a train, and he's about to be late to our team meeting. And then today, on our way back to the stadium, we just ate at MCL, and um, we got stopped by a train. All three buses, a train just came by, and man, it just brought chills to my body. I just knew they were looking over us. I knew they were there with us. And, Man, that last play was just, just put the icing on the cake. Really, they were here for us tonight, and, and it was amazing. I'm sure that the emotions of you know the first game of the season are always you know high. You guys are always kind of amped up. Um, but you know, before the game, can you guys just kind of walk me through uh, what it was like in the locker room? Maybe what coach said, and did it feel different in light of what's happened the past ten days? Um, absolutely. I mean, every day since then. It's been hard, but we as a team, we took a step forward every day. Um, and today is just an example of that. And in the locker room, it, it did feel really good. Like, everyone was super confident in our game plan. It, it just felt different, you know. Like, uh, we, we just wanted to win, and we knew we were going to win. And that, that's just the mindset today. And as, as a team, our goal is to win. No stats, no anything is to win, and we got that done today. And just felt really good. Yeah, I mean, just like you said, one step forward. It's all about taking that one step forward, one step forward. And in the uh, locker room before the game, you could just feel the energy. The energy was on. We felt connected. It was just, it was just amazing. I mean, I wish you guys, everyone could have experienced it. Really, it was just, we just came together as a team. It was awesome. I mean, mm -hmm. everyone has each other's backs. The coaches have our backs. The players have each other's backs. Everyone in the program has each other's backs, and it's just amazing. Wouldn't want to be a part of any other program. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.